So just find your comfy seat. <clears throat> Start to root down through your sit bones. Awesome. Just find a few, just a few movements. Just move everything out. Happy morning. Maybe roll your shoulders. Look left to right. Just find what this comfortable seat feels like for you. So maybe it's seated on your sit bones. Maybe you're on your shins with heels to your hips. Just see what feels right for you in this moment so you can get comfortable. We'll be here for a few moments doing some breathing, okay? And once you're settled, just can root and down through those sit bones. Hands can just come to the top of the thighs or the knees to start. Just allow the gaze to come soft. And we're gonna start in this breathing by channeling a mudra. We're gonna do Chinmaya mudra. So just make a fist with both hands, thumbs on the outside. Okay. And then release that pointer finger. Pointer finger and thumb come together and back of the palms come down to the knee. So mudras are energy circuits, attitudes, it invites certain energy into our bodies, into our postures. This is a gesture of awareness. It's channeling an energy of presence, groundedness, and fearlessness. You know, I need a little bit more of that these days. Allow the eyes to close or the gaze to come downward and just be soft. And with observation only and no judgment, just start to become aware of the breath. What's its texture? Does it have a shape? Are the edges of the breath rough or smooth? Is the movement of the breath even or uneven? Is it quiet, loud? Is the breath light or does it feel heavy this morning? Again, just observing and coming present. And bring that breath awareness to your belly. Feel that conscious breathing in and out, the inflation of the belly, deflation of the belly. Just sinking into the seat of the self there, noticing now how you're feeling in your body. Be tense or loose, open, resistant, accepting, again, observation only, greeting yourself and accepting yourself however you're coming to the mat this morning. And release the arms and inhale them up through the center. Exhale them back down, just in front, palms down. Three gentle breaths, and then we're going to really energize this breath. So inhale, palms up, arms in front. Beautiful. Let's see you all in synchronicity. Exhale, palms down. Inhale, arms up, palms face each other. We're energizing through the fingers here. So we're gonna do a variation of breath of fire. So we're gonna inhale, the fingertips up here, arms long. And when we exhale, we're gonna make it a nice forceful exhale out of the mouth and leading with the belly, bending the elbows and making fists. All right, inhaling up. Forceful exhale. Inhale. Exhale. We're gonna do this for a few rounds transforming and energizing, pumping with the belly. Inhaling through the nose, big full inhales. Good forceful exhales. Three more. Inhale, arms up, palms come together. Exhale, hands to heart center. Feel the movement of that breath, energy starting to move through the body. 
Just breathe into that awareness. So your hands are at the heart. Bow your head to your hands. And just together, we're going to set an intention for that breath and for that energy for our practice today. This is called Breath of Life by Dana Falls. I breathe in all that is, awareness expanding to take everything in, as if my heart beats the world into being. From the unnamed vastness beneath the mind, I breathe my way into wholeness and healing. Inhalation, exhalation. Each breath a yes and a letting go. A journey and a coming home. Allow the eyes to flutter open. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, right hand down, left arm up. Left arm extension of that right side body. So we're not bending into the arm. We're going to bend into the right side body. Staying this lateral plane. So we're not coming forward or back. Front and back core meeting each other right here as we sit. Gaze can come up toward the sky. Use the inhale to reach through those fingers and ground through that left hip. Use the exhale, maybe walk those right fingers out just a little bit. Continuing to breathe. Continuing the journey of the breath through your practice today. Inhale to come up, find some symmetry, reach. Beautiful. Exhale, left hand comes down. Right arm reaches up and over. And using the breath to stay rooted and find movement. Inhale through center, just flow through that crest, seated crescent a little bit. Finding the rhythm of your own breath, we're inhaling through center and then exhaling to find that side stretch. Next time you come through center, pause. Exhale, float the hands down to the thighs. We're going to find a little seated twist here. Go ahead and switch the cross of the legs. Reestablish your seat. Inhale, lift up through the chest. So we're just going to start by turning the chest toward the right. Head and chest turn toward the right. Left hand is going to melt over that front knee. Right hand is going to slide back to the thigh until the base of that palm meets the hip bone or the crease of the thigh. So just a gentle twist here. Inhale to lift the chest up. Now we're going to use that left hand on the right knee for a little leverage to twist a little bit more. So it's an open-hearted twist. We're going to take this right arm and bring it across the lower back. Inhaling to lift and lengthen. And exhale, twisting, sending the gaze over the right shoulder. Doesn't need to be an aggressive twist, but find your maximum expression of that twist right here in your body right now. Using the breath to lengthen and root and exhaling, maybe to twist just a little further, even if it's just an energy. Inhale, come back to center. Left hand just finds the knee. Both hands on the knees here. Big inhale. And exhale, pulling the left hand, just sliding it along the thigh till the base of the palm finds the hip bone. Right hand melting over the front of that right knee. Inhaling to lift. Exhaling, gaze goes over that left shoulder. Right hand, just light pressure on that knee, just enough to open the chest up to the left. Let's stay level. Breath now in and out of the nose, evenness between the breaths. Left arm comes across the lower back. Opening that chest up just a little bit more. Maybe pull that left shoulder back. Right shoulder forward. Inhale, come back through center. Hands adjust at the knees. Beautiful. Inhale, arms up. 
Exhale, plant the hands in front. Just pull the heart forward, find some breath in the lower back. And then lift the hips up, release the feet. Come on to the knees, find your tabletop. We're gonna find some strength in this tabletop before we start moving. Wrists are right underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Claw into the mat, press into the base of the knuckle, base of the palm. Inhale, crown reaches forward. Exhale, tailbone reaches back. Core comes in so that those abdominal muscles are nice and activated, reaching through the tail. Press firmly, find that connection in the hands, in the knees, in the shins, maybe tap the tops of the feet a little bit, really plug those feet in. Finding a good deep connection with the earth here. Back of the heart space coming up between the shoulder blades. Then inhale to cow, lifting the gaze, dropping the belly, tilting that pelvis all the way to the top of that breath and exhaling, chin comes to chest. Tilt the pelvis, tuck the pelvis in, belly comes up toward the spine. Take a couple of those just gently with that breath, with the length of each breath. And then we're gonna find some strength here. So just like that beginning kind of energizing breath, inhaling to cow, and maybe finding a forceful exhale on that cat. So these movements don't need to be fast, but I want them to be strong. So pulling everything in, muscles are engaged, really pumping it as you move through this cat and cow. Inhaling, expansive cow. Exhaling, compressing, contracting, and really squeezing in that cat pose. And again, you can speed up the movements if that feels good and if you like, but otherwise nice, even breaths. Movement and breath match each other. Just strong. Take a few more. Really feel that core pulling in. Beautiful. And then coming back to neutral. Big inhale here in the center. Exhale, send that gaze over the right shoulder. Hip comes to meet that gaze. Find a C stretch here. I'm breathing. Inhale back through center. Exhale, gaze over left shoulder. Left hip comes to meet that gaze. Find some expansion in the rib cage. Stay with the breath. Inhale through center. Send hips back to heels. Find a balasana. Knees can stay wide. You can actually just come under the forearms or extend the arms out, but we want palms up toward the sky. Flex and extend the fingers. Find some relief, some movement in those wrists and fingertips. Give them some good nourishment when we go through these weight-bearing poses. And then extend out. Find a nice extended, beautiful balasana here. Hollow under the arms, nice pressure into the hands to activate underneath the arms. Maybe the forehead melts all the way down to the earth. Inhale, coming back up to tabletop. Reestablish that foundation every time. Beautiful, everybody. All right, so sunbird prep. We're gonna inhale to send the right fingertips forward. We're just sliding that hand forward, tensing the fingertips. Then we're gonna send the left leg back, find the ball of the foot. So we're still in contact with the earth. Nice and light. This left hand is still firmly connected. Top of the right foot and shin and knee firmly connected with the earth. Finding this length through the bottom of the, bottom of the body. So stretching through the belly, stretching through the crown. Maybe inhaling to slide those fingers and toes back as long as you can get that extension without compromising the back and without compromising your foundational point, that left hand and that right foot and knee. Just reaching. Beautiful. And then tuck those right toes. Press through the heel, really press into the ball of the foot, find a stretch in the bottom of that foot. And every contact point, right fingertips, left palm, Left fingertips, right or left toe tips, 
right toe tips, everything pressing firmly, connected strong with the earth. Inhaling to lengthen the spine. Exhale, pull that core in. Nice and strong here. Lengthen strength. Inhale. Exhale, hand and knee come back in. Inhale to cow. Exhale to cat. Inhale back to neutral. Next inhale, left fingertips, right toe tips go out. So extending that leg. Staying firm in the right hand. And that left knee, shin, top of the foot. Inhaling, maybe lengthening a little bit more. Both hip points still level with the earth here. And not dumping down into that right shoulder. We have a tendency to want to do that as we lengthen through these left fingertips and toes. Find that length and then reestablish gravity in that right hand so you find some lift. Feel that lift in the core. Now tuck those left toes, press through the heel, press into the ball of the foot, find that stretch, and really feel the connectivity between every part of your body that's touching the earth. Again, finding that stretch through the belly and the chest, maybe through the palate and out the crown of the head. And exhale, bring it in, inhale, cow. Exhale, cat, pause here and cat. Really press into the earth, press that mat away from you. Tuck all 10 toes and exhale, hips back to the heels. Maintaining length in the arms, tenting the fingertips and sliding them forward if you can find a little bit more space there. Forehead comes down to the earth. It's nice wide balasana here, toes tucked. Staying with the breath, noticing how the breath is helping you regulate your energy, protect yourself. Inhale to come back up, find this tabletop. Reestablish that foundation. Full sunbird this time. Inhale right arm forward, left leg back. Dial those hip points down. Left hip's gonna wanna open up to the side. Keep both hip points parallel with the earth. Press through the left hand. Press through that left heel, pull the toes back toward the shin, reaching forward strong and firm with the right arm, palm toward the midline. We'll stay here. So this right arm can come down anytime if you need to. If you want to keep it lifted, we're gonna, we're gonna do some crunches here. We're gonna first bring this right hand to the back of the head and then open up that elbow to the side. So bicep is parallel with the earth. Way out from the side of the shoulder. Big inhale here, exhale, knee comes in, hinging at the shoulder, elbow comes in. Inhale, lengthen, open, exhale, crunch. Inhale, crunch. Inhale, two more. Crunch it in, stay strong and firm. I know that left hand's working, press firmly in the top of that right foot. Okay, one more. Inhale, opening up, exhale. Inhale to open back up to full sunburn. See if you can pause and hold there for three, two, pull that core in, one, and the knee come down, hips go back to lasana. Find whatever relief you need in the wrists, maybe rock back and forth on the hips. How does your body want to move between these movements? A lot of strengthening, a lot of contraction, Go and find some fluidity here. And then inhaling to come back up to your tabletop. And this time full sunbird, other side. So press firmly into that right hand, top of the left foot. Inhale, left arm up, right leg back. Dial the right hip bone down. Find your strength here. Press firmly into the hand to lift this body. Don't want to dump down. Staying nice and strong here. Left hand comes to the back of the head. Elbow is out. Exhale, crunch, knee to elbow. Inhale, open. Exhale, crunch, use the breath, that same forceful exhale that we used before. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, crunch it in. Get three more. Crunch. Inhale. Stay lifted. Inhale, lengthen. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, crunch. 
Inhale, back into full sunburn. Arm goes forward, leg goes back. Feel that circuit of energy all the way out through the fingertips, through the heel. Exhale, hand and knee come down and balasana. Again, find that movement, work that through. Then we're gonna inhale, hips are gonna come up, then we're gonna come down to the forearms. So forearm tabletop here. Knees are right underneath the hips. Elbows right underneath the shoulders. My little mini cats and cows here. They won't be that pronounced, but just feeling the body here in this position. Pressing firmly into those forearms and tops of those feet in the back. Or if you want to tuck those toes, you can tuck your toes, whatever feels good. Come back to neutral here. We're going to extend the arms out. Anapasana or puppy pose. Heart, chin, maybe forehead melts toward the earth. Hips stay high. Arms are extended, finding some nice space underneath the arms. And then we're going to take the right arm and just thread it through. Temple or cheek comes down to the earth. Thread in the needle here, finding a good shoulder stretch. Find how that feels good in your body. Hips are still high, allowing for some space here. Return to that belly breath. Belly's nice and free here, even though we're twisting right in the rib cage. Chest breaths might be a little bit more limited, but belly's open and free. So see if you can find that belly breath. Left arm can find its way somewhere else. You want to bring it across the lower back. Otherwise, I just invite you to keep it extended, finding some openness and length here. Slide that left hand back so it's right underneath the shoulder. Inhale, press into that arm. Inhale to release that right arm. Bring it all the way to the sky. Then exhale down. Tabletop, inhale. Exhale to cat. Inhale back to neutral. Slide back to Anahatasana. Melt the heart. And then thread that left arm underneath the chest, sending the fingertips to the right. Find the left temple or cheek. Find the expression here of this thread. Breathing into the back of the heart and the shoulders. Into the midsection, feeling that twist. Sending the breath where it's open. Inhale, slide that right hand underneath the shoulder. Press and release that right left arm. Send it up toward the sky. Beautiful. Exhale, hand down. Awesome. Find a round of cat and cow here. Just work that out. A couple C stretches. Maybe actually, let's pivot on the knees. Just lift the feet. Move the feet back and forth. And a windshield wiper parallel with the earth here. All right. I'm gonna walk each hand forward. Just a paw print. Tuck all ten toes. Send the hips back and forth. Just get a good stretch on the bottoms of the feet. Press firmly into the hands and start to lift the hips. Let's come into Adho Mukha Svanasana. Find your down dog. So head and heart melt toward the earth. Arms are strong and long. Knees are bent as much as you need to to keep a straight spine. So we want to find length in that spine. We don't want to be rounding over. Ideally, head is between the arms. Hips are high. Spread those sits bones. Walk out the heels. Feet are hip width distance apart. Right behind each hand, finding this pyramid shape of the body. Big inhale and exhale, either energetically, intentionally, or literally sink those heels down to the earth. Doesn't need to reach the earth. If you find that as you straighten the legs, you start to round in the back, reestablish the bend in those knees. Move around a bit in here and then find some stillness. Big inhale through the nose. 
Exhale out of the mouth. Inhale, come up onto the balls of the feet. Gaze comes toward the hands. And walk on the balls of the feet. Just tiny little steps, feet all the way to the hands. Inhale to your halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Feet are rooted. Take a moment here as we breathe in Uttanasana. Again, as much bend in the knees as you need. So you can comfortably find the earth. If you've got blocks, you can use those blocks. Inhale halfway. Reach forward with the crown. Press firmly into the feet, all four corners of those feet. Maybe lift all 10 toes here. Exhale, fold. Create some space in the belly. Melt that head down. Forehead toward the shins. Root into the feet. Inhale to rise. Back is strong and long. We're not rolling up and compressing discs. We're keeping it straight. Beautiful. Hands meet at the top. Here we are. Hello, morning. Exhale, hands down to heart center. Take a moment here. Hands can remain at heart center. Come down to the sides. Palms shine forward. So there's nothing inactive about this pose. So activate this Tadasana. You're strong in this pose, pressing firmly into the feet, all four corners of the entire perimeter of each foot. Quads, hamstrings engaged, tailbone rooting down. Abdomen coming in, chest lifting. Hearts open, but shoulders are relaxed and down right over the hips. Chin over the chest. Beautiful, everybody. Inhale, arms up. Gaze can follow. Palms come together. Exhale to heart center. Just a few sun breaths like here, right here. Every time those hands come down, inhale, arms up. Pressing even more firmly into the feet. Rooting right here. For a big expansive inhale. This time when palms come down to the heart, we're going to turn to the left. Feet stay rooted. Twist right at the bottom of the rib cage. Hands at heart center. Pause there. So as we twist left, that left hip bone's coming forward. Just breathe. Inhale back to center, palms stay engaged. Inhaling arms up. Exhale, rooted in the feet as palms come down to heart center, twisting to the right. Your right hip bone comes forward as we twist in that direction. Inhale back to center, palms come up, gaze follows, and exhale, bow forward. Inhale halfway. Exhale, fold. Root and rise. Strong back, reverse swan dive, arms expansive, palms meet. Exhale to heart center, ground. Inhale, arms up. Bow, you can swan dive or palms through the midline. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Really find some length in that spine and that halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Pull that belly in. Create some space for a little deeper fold. In bend in the knees if you need it. Inhale, reach with the head and the heart. Come it up. Exhale, hands down to heart center. All right, we're going to add to this movement here. Beautiful, everybody. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Plant the hands. Step back to a plank. Knees up or knees down. Your choice every time. Wherever you are, maybe rock back and forth a little bit. Check out your foundation. Again, supporting the joints. So find some stillness. Rest underneath the shoulders. Firmly on the balls of those feet. Pressing the balls of the feet into the earth, pressing back with the heels, inhaling crown forward, and exhaling to pull that core in. Knees come down, tops of the feet come down, elbows stay close to the body, entire front body comes all the way down to the earth. Chin finds the earth. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale, press into the hands, lift the torso, come back through the knees, tuck the toes, hips come up, downward dog. Walk it out. Find how this pose feels best in your body in this moment. 
Inhale, lift right leg up. Equal weight remains in both hands and in that left standing leg. That left standing leg, you're replicating your Tadasana leg so it's strong. Even if the whole perimeter of the foot is not finding the mat, that leg is strong and straight. Reaching up with that right leg. Exhaling, knee comes in toward the nose. Plant that foot between the hands. Or by that right pinky and heel toe it in. Press through that left heel to find some length in those left hip flexors. Knee comes down, top of the foot comes down. Inhale, just right here, stay low. Make sure your balance is good in this Anjane Asana. Heel toe that foot, that front foot out toward the edge of the mat if you need a wider footprint. Pull right hip bone back. Inhale, arms up. Knees can come up. Rotate pinkies in toward each other. Palms toward the back body, relaxing the shoulder blades down and together, supporting the back of the heart, lifting the heart here. Press firmly into that front heel, base of the big toe. Exhale, hands come down. Frame that front foot, tuck those left toes, right foot comes back, find your plank, pause. Finding your strength here, finding your length. And then exhale, knees come down, tops of the feet, and elbows stay nice and close in. We're not diving forward with the chest. Entire front body comes down at once, protecting the shoulders, making it a sustainable movement. Inhale, baby cobra. Or press firmly to the hands. Lift the heart. Straighten the arms. Find your full cobra. Exhale, press back through the knees. Tuck the toes. Downward dog. Walk it out. Find your breath. Big inhale here. Exhale out of the mouth, sink the heels down. Press firmly to the hands. Press firmly to that right foot, stay rooted, equal weight in both hands. Inhale, left leg up. Get to Dawson the leg in that right leg. Nice and strong here, both hips are level. We're not opening the hips yet. Just finding some length here, in both legs. Exhale, left knee comes toward the nose, plant that foot between the hands. Press through right heel, knee comes down, top of the foot comes down, inhale up. Keeping the arms low to start. Losing my sound. Everyone still hear me? Thumbs up, beautiful. Thanks y'all. My validation for the day. Inhale, arms up. Find your Anjane Asana here. Find your breath. Exalt through the fingers. Pinkies can come in toward each other. Maybe you hook, hook the thumbs and reach. And breathe. One more big inhale. Find as much length as you can. Pull yourself up out of those hips. Exhale, hands come down. Tuck those right toes. This time right foot comes up to meet the left. Inhale into your halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Root into the feet and rise. All the way up. Hands meet at the top. Exhale to heart center. Nice, everybody. Close the eyes. Take a moment there. Again, re-identify or come into communion with the breath. Observing it as you did before. How's it changed? How's it guiding you? How can you tap into it? Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Plant the hands. If you're ready to hop, you can hop or just step back to your plank. All right, here's our challenge. We're going to stay here in this plank. We're going to get a little bit of core work, a little bit of opening. So we can always bring the knees down. Find cat and cow or modification. You can um, just find, <laughs> as Jake calls it, peeing dog and just bring, um, here, let me show you on this side. If knees are down, you're just going to be hinging at the hip and opening up to the side. If you're in plank, you're going to find kind of a tree pose here in plank. So maybe that foot is at the calf. Maybe you can get it all the way up to the thigh. It's going to be a little bit more mobile if that foot is at the calf. So left foot 
at right calf. Inhaling here and exhaling to bring that knee in. Inhaling to open. Exhaling to bring it in. Just a few here. Stay strong in hands and follow the right foot. Exhale. Inhale, open. Exhale. Send that left foot back. Knees come down. Tops of the feet come down. Balasana. Rock back and forth. Take a good cleansing, energizing breath here. Inhale up back to center. And again, stay here in hands and knees or tuck the toes, find your plank. Right, right foot finds the inside of that left, left calf. And exhale. Knee comes in toward the midline. Open the thigh up. Exhale. Inhale, open. Stay lifted in the abdomen, it lifted in the core. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. One more. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Send right foot back. Now either knees, chest, chin, or launch forward on all 10 toes. Chaturanga, one long line. Everything meets the earth at the same time. Tops of the feet find the earth. Mini cobra, full cobra. If you're ready for an up dog, pressing the tops of the feet with knees and thighs up off the earth. Heart comes forward. Press back through the feet or bring the knees down if you need to. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Find your down dog. Walk it out. Big inhale in. Hold it at the top for a beat. And exhale out of the mouth. Heels down, heart down. Arms firm. Find that rootedness in the arms. Bicep spiral out. Eyes of the elbows spiral in. Press firmly through the heels. Inhale, right leg up. Same Tadasana leg on that left side. This time we're going to open the hips up to the right. So right heel comes toward left glutes. Just find that stretch before you find any circles. And then once we're here, You're going to stay here in this little crescent. Pull that right hip back. Heart comes forward. Press through that left heel. Up on the fingertips here or the palms or the fists. Okay. Inhale to come up. That front knee should be over that front ankle. Nice perpendicular shin. Heart's lifted. Arms low to start. Just Start on this thigh. My friend Chris, who's in class today, invited me to a class last week. And I like how she said, feel the strength. Feel the strength in this front leg. Feel that thigh, you guys. You are strong. Feel the strength happening there. Lift those front five toes. Press through that back heel, really ankle through, anchor through this back leg also. This front quad, super engaged. And inhale, arms up. And inhale, arms wide, wingspans nice and wide. Exhale to cross these arms in front, right arm underneath, cross those elbows. Bend the elbows, right fingertips from the inside of the left palm. Inhale, elbows up to heart center. Staying strong and firm, that back knee can come down anytime you feel it needs to. Maybe bring the gaze up toward the sky. Exhale, release. Wingspan wide. Feel the burn, hands come down, right foot goes back to meet the left. Take a pause or take a vinyasa, your choice. Create those movements how your body needs them right now. Knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Cobra or up dog. You can even come back through balasana if you need a moment of rootedness in connection with the earth. Otherwise, tuck those toes, send those hips up, find your dog. Find strength and stillness, big inhale. Pause at the top and exhale out of the mouth. We'll release. Inhale, left leg up. 
bend at that knee, root through that right heel, even if the heel doesn't meet the earth. Hips are open, feel that stretch. Make circles with that knee. And then we extend through that left leg. Exhale, knee comes toward the nose, plant the foot. Find your foundation here, inhaling heart forward, pressing through that heel, anchoring through that back leg. Checking the alignment of this front leg, knee over the knees, over knees, that's a cool word. Knee over the ankle, ankle underneath the knee. Inhale, arms up. Pull that left hip back, hips are parallel, both facing forward. Inhale, arms wide, wingspans are nice and wide, y'all. Exhale, arms come front, crossing right over the left this time. Left fingertips and the inside of that right palm. Inhale, elbows up, heart center. Skin gaze can come up if you wanna test your balance. Stay firm and rooted, keep breathing. Inhale to release, wingspan comes wide. Nice wide heart. Exhale, hands on either side of that front foot. Launch forward on those right toes. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Root and rise. Palms meet. Exhale, fold, bow forward. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Root and rise. I'm gonna wash that through one more time. Exhale all the way through midline, bow. Inhale halfway. Exhale, fold. Root and rise. Exhale, hands to heart center. Allow the eyes to close, feel your feet on the earth. Reestablish your connection. Again, nothing about this pose is inactive. Every muscle is engaged. Reconnecting with the breath. Root down to that tailbone. Core comes in. Feet supporting the temple of your body right here. Chin over chest, crown reaching for the sky. Big inhale, take a step back with the right foot. You're gonna find pyramid stance. Okay, so there's just a few feet between the feet. You're on two parallel lines. So feet are on two parallel lines, not on a tightrope. All 10 toes facing forward. Those back toes might be pointing out just a wee bit. Beautiful. We're gonna find the strength in our legs here. We talk about a scissoring motion a lot. Um, same as when I say, feel, find the sensation of pulling the mat apart. So find that kind of action in the legs of pulling the mat apart. Pressing firmly into the base of that front big toe. Nice, that front knee coming in towards the inner ankle. Back knee energetically moving towards the outer ankle. Pressing firmly into the back edge of that right foot. Inhale, arms up and exalt. Legs stay strong, both hip points forward. Right hand grabs left wrist. Find a little crescent here. You're gonna pull that wrist over to the side, beautiful. Stay firm in the feet. Come back up, exalt, grab opposite wrist and exhale, crescent. Inhale back to center. Gaze is forward here. Exhale, cactus arms. Then root down through that tailbone. Feet are strong. Legs are so strong here. Pull that mat apart. Next inhale, we're gonna test our balance here. Bring the gaze up toward the sky. Stay firm in those feet. 
If it feels accessible and desirable, inhale, lengthen the arms, biceps by the ears, reach back. Breathe here. Exhale, we're gonna come forward, hinging at the hips. Coming all the way forward. Hands find the earth, inhale. Halfway lift here. And then exhale, melt heart and gaze, chin toward the shin. Pull forward, fold in your pyramid here. Breathe, legs are still strong. Inhale, halfway lift. Bring right foot up to meet the left. Exhale, fold. Root and rise. Mm, beautiful, everybody. Exhale, hands to heart center. Take a breath here. Shake it out in the feet just a little bit if you need to. It's a lot of work. Hands at heart center. Reestablish that strength. Find your Tadasana. Exhale, step back with the left. Find your pyramid stance here. Again, front knee comes in toward that front ankle. Again, we're not hyperextending either. The feet and legs are strong, but maybe there's just a slight bend in the knees, so we're not hyperextending. All ten toes facing forward around two parallel lines. Pressing firmly to the back edge of that foot. Inhaling arms up. Staying with the breath, taking your time. Right hand grabs left wrist and find the crescent here. The legs don't move, hip points don't move. Just the upper body supported by the lower body. Finding movement here, inhaling reach. Exhale, opposite wrist, pull it over. Lovely. Inhale, arms up, hearts forward. Exhale, cactus the arms. Reestablish that strength in those feet. Pulling the mat apart with the feet, so pressing forward with the front foot. Pulling back with the, with the left, or with the back foot. Inhale, gaze comes up. Keep breathing. And if it feels good and accessible, inhale, extend the arms, reach back with the fingertips, eyes up by the ears, gaze up toward the sky. Big inhale into the heart and exhale, firm in those feet, hinge at the hips, coming forward over that front leg. Fingertips find the earth, inhale halfway and exhale, fold. Feeling the length, the back of that hamstring. Again, finding the stretch in the meat of the hamstring, not all the way up in the pelvis. If that happens, you gotta bend the knee back out of it a little bit. Inhale halfway. Bring left foot up to meet the right. Exhale, fold. Pause here for a minute in this forward fold. Heel toe those feet out toward the edges of the mat. Point the toes in just a little bit. Doing it. You're almost there, y'all. Inhale, halfway lift. So your toes are pointed in to keep some breath in the lower back. Exhale to fold. Right hand plants right underneath the gaze. Bend into that left knee just a little, or that right knee just a little bit, and inhale, left arm up. Finding a little twist. You can keep that right hand right underneath the face, or you can reach for the outer left ankle. Pull yourself down a little bit further, a little bit more into this twist, that feels good. The extended arm, so that left arm can come across the lower back also. Stay with the breath, it's gonna to start to come down. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, come back through center, inhale halfway. Exhale, plant the left hand, a little bend in that left knee, inhale, right arm up. Same option here, bring that left hand to the outside of the right ankle, the right arm across the lower back. Keep breathing. Inhale, come back through center. I'm gonna bring the heels in, toes out. 
and exhale to bend in the knees. If you've got a blanket, we're just going to be in Malasana for a moment. But if you need some assistance, you've got a block or a blanket, something to sit on, or you can bring your heels to the edge of the blanket. And we're going to come down in Malasana. Elbows on the inside of the knees. Beautiful, everybody. Hands at heart center. Bring the chin down and in. You have a tendency to want to uh, bring, bring the chin up to lift the chest. Keep the chest lifted. Bring the chin down. Beautiful, everybody. And then just let your hands and your hips find the mat. Send the legs out long. Press through the heels. Toes come back. Chest lifts. Hands on top of the thighs. Press into the thighs to help lift the chest. Pull the toes back toward the heart, fan the toes, press through the heels. You guys stay there. I'm just going to turn to the side here. Arms extend out. Stay firm in the legs, calves and thighs, press firmly into the earth. On an exhale, pull that belly to spine and slowly let yourself come all the way to the earth. Spine rolls all the way down. Back of the head finds the earth. Inhale, arms up. Full body stretch here. Be a little kitty. Stretch it out. And then exhale, pull knees into chest, the thighs, belly. Capture those knees. Big breath here. And then exhale, feet find the earth. Walk the shoulder blades in and under. Can scooch the heels back toward the hips, wherever they are comfortably with the full bottom, full bottom of each foot pressing into the mat. Big inhale, press into the heels, lift the hips. Palms are down to help you in. Walk the shoulder blades in once you're up. Chin comes to chest. We do not move the neck. If you want to find some energy in this pose, you're pulling those heels back toward the hips. Just they're magnetized to the mat, but energetically pulling back toward the hips. Inner thighs coming in toward each other, pressing forward in the knees or with the knees. You want to interlace the fingers underneath the sacrum. You can do that. Pull those knuckles down toward the heels. Walk the triceps in a little bit, shoulders in toward each other a little bit more. Press into the triceps to lift the heart. Press into the heels to lift the hips. Keep breathing. A couple more breaths here. See if you can pull the palms together. Knuckles a little closer to the heels. Lift the hips just a little bit more. And then release the clasp. Palms come down to the earth on either side. Come up onto the balls of the feet. And exhale, spine down. Neck to tail, one at a time. Nice and gentle. Beautiful. Heels come down last. Cross right ankle over left knee. Pause here. Press that right knee away. Find some opening there. And if you know where we're going, go ahead and thread it through. Before you extend the leg, though, pull that knee back towards you. I find I get a much deeper stretch before I extend that leg, especially in this right hip. That left knee as you pull it toward the chest, maybe find some free movement side to side. And then on an exhale, extend that left leg. Point and flex the foot. Maybe get some circles in that ankle. And then press through that left heel. Release the arms down to your sides and exhale. We're going to float the length of this left leg with that right foot still crossed over the knee all the way down to the earth. Nice. Once you're there, then release that right foot. Right foot finds the earth, so we're extending out through that left leg. Anchor through the right foot, knee bent. Big inhale here. And exhale to bring the left knee in to meet the right. Take another breath here, and then cross that left ankle over top of the right knee. 
Take a minute to press that away or just a breath. And on an exhale, thread it through. Right knee comes in. You can find the stretch, find some movement. Use that right knee to really help you find the outer glutes, that gluteus medius. Stretch that piriformis, all that good stuff on the left side. And then on an exhale, lengthen the right leg. Point and flex the foot, find your circle. Press through that right ankle, release the arms, palms come down, exhale that leg all the way down to the earth. Once you're there, we're gonna bring that left thigh to the earth, but keep it open and then bring that right sole of the foot to meet the left. Supta Bhattakanasana. Soles of the feet meet, press them firmly into each other. We're not forcing the groin open or forcing the knees down. Just gentle breath movements here to help encourage this release. On an exhale, gently encourage those knees together. Arms come up to your sides, palms up. Press into the feet, lift the hips, shift them just a couple inches to the left. Exhale, knees right, gaze left. Breath is slow. Body's calming down, energy leveling out. Allow it to happen, no control of the breath. Let yourself be breathed. Inhale, knees and gaze back to center. Press into the feet to lift the hips. Shift them a couple inches to the right this time. Knees fall left, gaze right. Inhale everything back through center. If there's any final movements your body needs, any final pose that you feel your body's ready for and needs to take, please give yourself the gift of that movement. Otherwise, if you're ready, you go straight into Shavasana. No one else, just extend the legs out, arms out, palms open, inner ankles open to the sky. Just feel fully received by the earth, fully connected. And just find full release. Every point in contact with the earth, just melting into it with each out breath. Coming heavier. And held. And no effort to control the breath. Be here for just a couple of minutes. Just allow the medicine of this movement to happen. All the benefits of your practice to absorb into your system.
remaining in stillness, just bring your attention to your fingertips, your toe tips. So the energy that pulses there. Feel the energy as it reaches beyond the bounds of your silhouette. And on an inhale, really stretch through the fingers and the toes. And on that exhale, just bend at the elbows and gently bring your hands to your torso. One hand can come to the heart, one hand to the belly. Or both hands to the heart, both hands to the belly. Just connecting with the body. And honoring ourselves, the power of ourselves in this body, in this earth, in this time. One of my favorite Rumi poems, The Guest House. This being human is a guest house. Every morning a new arrival, a joy, a depression, a meanness. Some momentary awareness comes as an unexpected visitor. Welcome and entertain them all. Even if they are a crowd of sorrows who violently sweep your house, empty of its furniture, still treat each guest honorably. She may be clearing you out for some new delight, the dark thought, the shame, the malice. Meet them at the door laughing and invite them in. Be grateful for whatever comes because each has been sent as a guide from beyond. Big inhale to breathe that in. On an exhale, bend the knees, let your feet find the earth. Feel yourself in this body connected to the earth. With a big inhale. On an exhale, roll to one side. Pausing there, make a pillow with the arm. Other hand still on the heart or the belly. Giving yourself gratitude for your practice today, for showing up for yourself. Gathering everything on the mat that you found that will serve you off the mat. And in your own time, pressing up to a comfortable seat. Maybe the one you began in, maybe something new that feels better in your body in this moment. Hands can rest gently on the lap or come to heart center in Anjali Mudra. Gaze is soft or eyes closed. May we each be a light unto ourselves as well as to each other. And may our thoughts, words, and actions be kind, true. And necessary. Namaste.